Hey guys, we're live, live from the hotel room. Can you guys, can everybody hear me okay? I'm using the roadcaster, so let me know if I'm coming through okay, a little low or anything. Um, so Keemstar's uh, show, Lol Cow Live, is uh, premiering last night's show right now. Pretty sure it's the exact same show. Let me know if you can hear this if I just play it for a little while. On the show today, we have the return of only Use Me Blade. So that's going to be huge. Also, uh, I just was stumbling on Twitter last night and I come across. All right. Did you hear that? Did you did you hear it double? Did you hear it just normal? Hi, Tom. Hi, Joe. Hi, Michael. Hi, JF. <clears throat> Dad's shaving back there. You heard it fine? All right, so I'm pretty sure it's just a repeat of what happened yesterday, but here's what I want you guys to do. Because it's a premiere, okay, we need the chat to help us out today. So we're gonna send you over to the Lol Cow Live premiere that's going on right now. And I want you guys to let them know that we're gonna be covering this and responding to it on this channel, okay? So here's the uh, link, premiere link. All right, so you guys go over there, and we're, I'm going to be in chat, and you guys should be in chat just letting them know we're going to be going over it, all right? So let's let's play this thing. Yeah, and I was like, should I quit now? Or? <laughs> <laughs> but then he turned it around. Thanks, Wings. <laughs> it, it, and it backed up everything Wings has been saying. He kept saying, like, dude, the people that are after me are way bigger losers than me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny with Josh Moon. But when, you, when you get Josh Moon to come, and he's going to cut a podcast on me. And he goes to talk to my trolls, and then he just cuts the podcast on the trolls, right? Like, yeah. it's just sick people. I wonder if Blade's going to be doing better now that Wings 007 has been missing in action for a week. Wait, did he leave the internet? Did 007 leave the internet? He hasn't made it. He hasn't made a peep since the show. All right, this is this is just the boring stuff. I'm not really sure. Can somebody explain to me what exactly happens on Lol Cow Live? Like, this is a premiere of I think what happened yesterday, but uh, I can't. I can't really. I can't really tell if it's just a literally replay of the show because then I don't understand why they wouldn't just leave it up. Um, D writer says you've become a lot more attractive lately, baby. Keep doing whatever what you're whatever you're doing. Thank you. Uh, I have tanned myself uh, quite extremely. In fact, what'd you say? You tanned, you gained a little weight. Yeah, I tanned and I gained a little weight. So thank you. Uh, they edited it down. Okay. Did you hear that, Dad? So that what they did was... Okay. He's shaving for you guys. He's getting ready. You guys better compliment him. Also, um, we'll also be covering that... Oh, yes, he has the water going. I thought there was something wrong with the mic. Um... Well, we're also going to be going over uh, that my dad is going on Ethan Ralph tonight. And um, we have also started a new arc regarding uh, Andrew Wilson, BPF of The Crucible. Uh, we are going to run him off the internet. And uh, so we're going to go into that too. So we got a whole show. And then at 4 p.m. for us, but 5 p.m. EST for most people, my dad's going to be on Ethan Ralph. Grace, your hair went from a 10 out of 10 to an 8. Okay, yeah, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. EST. <coughs> he just needs a couple minutes. It's been a, it's been a while. Yeah. Ow, people, ow, people, ow. People, like, do you get beat up by a black kid? In the meantime, I can rewatch my uh, bombing. You get it. Actually, I watched a clip. Uh, I was watching old clips of mine on my stream the other day, and uh, at one point he he says to me, he says, did you say, and like, you know, the N word. And I go, mm. I didn't say N word. And then he hits me. And I'm like, why'd you hit me, dude? He's like, cause you just said it. I'm like, I just said, I didn't say it. Like what the, f so wow. even like saying it in passing, it's like, come on, dude. So yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you a question, Blake. I, like sure. I've only been slightly tipsy one time in my life. I've never okay. been full on blackout drunk. So okay. like, do you ever, when you're in that situation, like, are we reacting to this again? Uh, I think we're giving him maybe a more, um edited down version of our reaction for this stream um 
it's a re-reaction. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly. I think my dad's cooking something up. I'm not sure exactly. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to literally Fasten react. Your kids. Yeah, he says, he says fasten your seatbelts, guys. In the meantime, here's some sound effects for you. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Why are you gay? Yeah, I'm working on it. Send your sound bites for the show. Send your sound clips to my Discord server. I'm going to make a channel called, uh, like, Sound Bites. So send any funny clips you have from any people we've interacted with or ourselves. Send it over there so I can add it to the soundboard. Has some experience with that. You're doing, like, all, RV streams? All, all around yeah. the country, yeah. Somebody chatted, I hope they kept her impromptu stand-up. Uh, ooh. Or on the I think I think it was actually pretty funny that I just totally bombed it, but here we go. Incest? <laughs> <laughs> to put it bluntly. I mean I have a lot of I have a lot what, more what, what, what to me than that your... whole thing. Did but... you say incest? No, <laughs> she said something else. <laughs> I say generally that is what is associated with my name. So you're... Thank you, JF. JF in the chat in their chat says Grace Thorpe is live and will be reviewing this interview. Thank you. Yes, guys, go over there and make sure you let them know. Uh, here's the link to the premiere. This, like, the premiere is what we're watching. Go over there and let them know that we're reacting live so that they can come over and give all their thoughts and critiques. Yeah. Me and my dad are kind of edgy. Awesome. And uh, our family was kind of falling apart at the time. So that kind of leaked in and people started saying like, oh, you guys do incest. Was it because your mo your dad was cheating on your mom with you? No, but in a way, like me and him became closer and my mom got jealous of that. So she started Whoa. like making uh, assumptions. Oh, uh, okay. the big reveal. Where's my shirt? Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't gotten it yet. I got to go down to the RV. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. No, I'm on the chair. Oh, okay. The new and improved. The new and improved. And a little bit fat. Hollywood Pretty. Ben. He's pretty. Oh, look at you. It's, oh. it's this. It's this camera. Wow, you look totally different. Okay, here's the headphones. Let me go get you a shirt, okay? Yes. Can it be like a little bit over? Cause I. How do you want it? Further. Like over? I like it over here. Oh, I see. Well. <laughs> Is that good? It's the best I can do right now. Why can't it be further over? Because if it goes further over, it's gonna block the screen. I don't want it blocking the. All right. Magnet. Can it just go above the screen? I, I'd have to prop it up. I'll get something to prop it up. This is just as high as the telescope. Okay. Yeah. Give me some shit to react to. What are we doing here? All right. Get me so, going. Get me cooking. Let's see. So uh, this is the premiere right now. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to react to it live or just where we're at in it? I want to start at the beginning. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. They were just talking. <laughs> <laughs> clips. Grace, Grace, hi, how are you? Hi, good. I'm good. How are you doing? So, so uh, hotel over here? Sorry? So you're, you're in a hotel, hotel or something back there? there? Where are you going? Oh yeah, I'm in uh I'm in um San Marcos, Texas right now. I'm tra I've been traveling and live streaming it. So. Blade has some experience with that. You're doing like RV streams? All around yeah. the country, yeah. So, so Grace, Grace, how do people know? I just found out about you yesterday, yesterday but like, like what, what would you say you're known for on the internet? Like how do people know you? Incest? <laughs> <laughs> to put it bluntly. I mean, I have a lot of, I have a lot what, more what, 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 what to me of than that whole thing. Did but. you say incest? Good answer. No, she, she said something else. <laughs> Make me big and them small. So you're involved in it? Isn't that a gag? Aren't you like the new Andy Kaufman? Or, or is it true? <laughs> I can explain it if you want. Basically, I'd love I, to hear it. I started streaming with my dad about 14 months ago. And we had um we had like a little chill podcast where we just talked about like religion and stuff. Anyways, uh, me and my dad are kind of edgy. Awesome. And uh, our family was kind of falling apart at the time. So that kind of leaked in and people started saying like, oh, you guys do incest. Was it because your, mo your dad was cheating on your mom with you? No, 
But in a way, like, me and him became closer, and my mom got jealous of that. So she started, like, making a Good, good start. Oh, okay. And bitch. then my Is this your brother, dad right here? Yeah, that's him. Say hi. Oh, hey. Handsome He's guy. Say, so don't say anything you wouldn't say. Don't say anything you wouldn't say to his face. He's a handsome <laughs> guy. <Thank you. laughs> so how do you think I got here? <laughs> uh, no, but, I don't want to know. No, but continue. Why, why do people think that um, you're your dad you know because we have a very right, wait close stop it right there my mother is a very disgusting okay so how why do people think you and he even just to show that he understands that it's rude to ask a question like that he bleeped it out on the replay mm -hmm. right yeah so he's not a dummy mm -hmm. that's not how you say something if you're respectful to someone so okay so this isn't a pleasant interview this is a chance to take a 21 year old girl who you see as being vulnerable and try to push her over the edge into like a crazy reaction. Yeah. Okay. All right, boys. How many grown men here? We got one, two, three, four grown men who are going to do this men. project. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four men, all of whom are significantly older than you are going to try to do this to you. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Functional person. But don't don't tell me anymore. that that's not what you're doing. And we streamed a lot of that, and then people made assumptions, and I get it. You know, a it's lot of coffee, people bitch. don't see daughters that close to their fathers, and I don't really care if people make assumptions. But it's kind of an ongoing joke at this point. That's a king size Sorry. bed behind. Good you. answer. Is that, do y'all have separate mm. hotel rooms? No, it's cheaper sometimes to share a bed. <laughs> All right, hold up, hold up. Wait, I see a Okay, clip so the big a... laugh, right? Because you're sharing a king size hotel bed. You know how big a king size hotel bed is? You could fit four people on it. And this guy immediately laughs because he thinks it's outrageous because he's a bitch. Who's this? Globules of fat. Who is this one with oh, this the one striped left. green and white? Who's bottom left, guys? I don't know what his name is. Okay, so he lets out a big laugh because he thinks it's outrageous that two people who are related to each other of the opposite sex, I assume, share a king-size bed for uh, practical reasons. When, how does he think it happens in an RV? And what is the scenario, right? I understand for people who you know, whatever, don't know each other or whatever. It's like kind of might feel more comfortable with that. But at a certain point, you sort of break that wall. And yeah, it's fine. It's just like, it's fine. We've dealt with the issue of proximity, obviously. And <laughs> the idea that you need two separate beds in a room, or, or why not two separate rooms? Because your father and daughter, like, what kind of relationship do you have with your daughter? Do you need separate bedrooms? And I could understand sometimes in a situation you want separate beds, but separate bedrooms? I could see that. But like you're saying, like there's a lot of tension that isn't going to be dealt with here. Right? Isn't that the implication? Oh, by the way, I just want to tell you guys, go in the chat. And French Toast says you have a choice of the hotel room. Well, I mean, sometimes you do. Sometimes they you don't. Um, it's just a matter of like preference, but let me tell you something. If you have a problem, if there's a problem between two people who are traveling and with each other 24 hours a day sexually, it's not going to be solved by two separate double beds as opposed to one king size bed. Isn't that common sense? It is common sense. All right. I'm going to be right back. Just press play and Cla pause right here. Okay. This little button here. Yeah. All right that you were like caught so what i'm saying your is your father is that true my so what i'm saying is it's a ridiculous point it's not like <laughs> right it's like okay yeah obviously right i do understand that in a certain relationship between a father and a daughter probably would get two separate beds if you're traveling in a car whatever like but at a certain point you know and this point occurred uh when Grace and I had to leave before we got the uh, real estate money and we had to spend the night in the back of a 
uh, Ford Expedition, an SUV uh, in the middle of winter. And so what is the after? Like, okay, so that happened. We spent the night in a very in very tight quarters. What's the point of after that, like reestablishing a boundary? Nothing happened that was that either of us had a problem with. And uh, so then subsequently, what are you going to, I mean, what is the point of it? What is the point of it to avoid scandal for these three fat pimples and this idiot hiding behind his sunglasses on the internet? Why? It's kind of obvious. It's like, okay, yes, we often will share a king size bed in a hotel room and we share the back of the RV and the RV. The idea, I mean, I get it for, I guess you could say propriety's sake, but like... What propriety? You understand the context. Brother, um, because he was jealous of me getting clout online, he did decide to come out to get his own clout, and he said he saw something like I sent my dad an eggplant emoji, which I very well may have, because I joke about sexual stuff with my dad all the time, and he got a little bit of clout off of that, and now it's a joke, so. Now, okay, let's say so Grace died. tried to play this what? one. All right, so he goes for the, like, what about your brother? Which is fine. And Grace tried to play it as like trying to get clout. I mean, that's an angle that's kind of, with my criticism with her on this was that she kind of tried to like play it cool when they obviously wanted to go for the jugular. And I think she was having trouble navigating that. We are, we have subsequently had a discussion which we are never gonna have that situation occur again, but she did well. What's your content? Mm. Um. That is a very good point, actually. I am very, very closely tied to him, and he's sort of my rock. So if he did die, uh, the question was about your dad. Me, what's your me crying uh, about him being dead? Honestly, uh, so he, sh he shouts out drinking. This folks, huge streamer shouts out drinking. Okay, my daughter has been drinking maybe one percent of all the time she's been on the internet. He was so unprepared that he only watched one tiny clip of her in which he had been drinking and was doing a drunken rant. Okay, so he exposes himself as someone who hasn't even done, uh, and also all these communications with us were direct, right? He doesn't have anyone working for him. He doesn't have anyone um, doing communication, setting stuff up for him. And he does no research. He sits there with his hands folded and goes, drinking. This is, this is, this is like top tier internet. How wasn't this just like I could do a better job in an hour? I, love I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to make fun. What What is your content? What is your What is your thing? You You stream. You make videos. What do You What do you do? Uh, it's kind of all over the place. So like, he's sort of the intellectual side of things. I'm like, obviously, you guys put me as the crazy girl. But we've been streaming ourselves, traveling, and collabing with other people. Um, we also just when we do IRL, we kind of like notice just the little things in life and like people watch and that kind of stuff. That's kind of how we like to run our streams. And then also a lot of analysis of like our family's past because it kind of became public. And the thing about this also is it's tricky to navigate because it's kind of a little boring. Like they don't really want to hear about like, they don't really, they're not here for that, but it's okay that she said that. And then, but she missed the whole kind of relationships between men and women, manosphere type stuff, which could have been given something to bite on. Like the other stuff would have been hard to bite on. But again, we've solved this problem essentially and all of our the characters involved do you in see game. like a father daughter in public and be like i wonder if they want to swing with us all right so this guy comes on and says like hey i'm not being disrespectful and then he asked that fucking question which warranted every bit of all the smoke that i gave his lip fat fucking pimple ass i would have ripped that fucking hat off his head ripped those headphones off of him pulled him up by his little fucking drawstrings on his stupid hood and ripped him to shreds if he said that in front of me personally and he fucking knows that so now we're going full blood sport but this is how these people do it they won't just let you know i'm going blood sport or even you know just like joking around banter type shit they first set you off with like okay i'm just being respectful i just want to know what your interest is and then they ask this stupid goddamn question which is just inflammatory and grace is a little put out of sorts which is what they intended to do mm, no why doesn't any, excuse me why doesn't keemstar go hey 
That's a disrespectful question. If that's the type of interview they're doing, if that's what the show is. But if it's not what the show is, then why do the like, hey, I'm sincere. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. It seems like the behavior of someone who is intending to cause like maximum confusion to the person there. And I think that's wrong. Get my dad laid. Uh, he hasn't been laid in like five, six years. Maybe you guys could help. He's not doing so well on Tinder. So, so Grace I didn't know exactly thing. how to handle that, but so she pivoted away to this, this sort of motif of my dad has trouble landing women, which, you know, is funny, but like, I don't know what they're looking for here. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how someone who has 5 million subscribers doesn't even research the subject that they're bringing on and also can't even communicate through someone that he hires, doesn't have a team, doesn't have anything other than just like some, what anyone would have on the internet who just has a web connection. Where um, one of your fair. girlfriends that you met online came to visit you. Yeah, your dad started like pulling her hair to insert dominance over her because she's a young female. Okay, again, and, and here we have a, like a communicator, professional communicator who doesn't understand that the verb preceding dominance is not insert, but assert. Assert dominance, not insert dominance. But also he's... He's got it wrong. I didn't just start pulling her hair, but I pulled her hair. But whatever. You know, so this guy is obviously, he's obviously heard things secondhand, right? And he hasn't actually watched. There actually is no clip of that, but there's me explaining it. And there's Ava trying to explain. I, that's not what happened. But he didn't bother researching it, right? And yet, <laughs> look at this. And I've seen these clips of... Yeah. Him, like, uh, making you undress and get naked to, like, you know. Okay, and here's a flat, outright lie in front of 4,000 people. Making you undress and get naked. Now I'd take his fucking glasses, rip them off, rip his stupid hat off, stand him up against his fucking cheap-ass plywood wall and rip him to shreds. That's right, Keemstar, let's go. You're, you're, you're not entitled to lie. That's defamation and libel. But fine, blood sport. But okay, now we're going to do blood sport, right? Because now you're just straight up lying. They humiliate you. Where is there any evidence that that ever occurred? I made you take your clothes off and, and, and be naked? Where is there anything of that? This guy is just a, a he, what he gets is random gossip, and then he embellishes it with no regard for truth, no regard for reputations, and just thinks he can get away and he's going to get away with this. And I'm calling him out here. I'm calling him out right here. That's a fucking lie. You worried about YouTube? You should be worried about Ben Thorpe because that is defamation. That's defamation. If you're a rich guy, I want to hear about it. Lawyers out there, let's go to town. If this guy's got millions of dollars, I want some of them for that. Because he knew he, there's no possible way he thought that was true. No one has made that claim or something what what is the truth in all this well the ava thing um so i met this girl in seattle and she had come to know us through destiny i'm sure you guys know who destiny is yeah alpha yes. male mm -hmm. excellent debater great social skills handsome destiny's guy. an alpha male um no you are wings <laughs> well, I, 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 okay now we see complete lack of social skills, which is probably why these guys like to bully other people. And I guess that's part of the thing is that they're all idiots themselves. But like, that's clear sarcasm. It's very clear sarcasm. It requires a level of social skills that's minimal to pick up that she's being sarcastic about destiny. And yet the bottom right guy doesn't get it. What it, oh, you think he's an alpha male? And I think the rest of the guys at least understood that. I'm, I would say I could beat destiny's who do you think's more attractive, Destiny or Wings of Redemption, the bald guy down here? Well, I don't know Wings, so so far Wings because seems to be able to take a joke. Ooh. Ooh. 
Destiny's Destiny's pretty pathetic. You'd have to say Destiny's pretty yeah. pathetic. But anyway, yeah. so this thing girl, I know Ava, about Destiny is he gets cooked. Oh, he does get cocked. Yeah, that's his thing. Yeah, that's why I was finding it funny. Like she called him an alpha male. I'm like, doesn't didn't he like be streaming and his wife's getting railed behind him on stream? <laughs> I think she was saying that sarcastically. It's a lot of context, but I went to LA. I live in Rhode Island. I went to LA maybe I think it was last summer to do an IRL collab with this guy Darius. We were supposed to pretend to be an abusive couple, but he actually caught feelings. Obviously, I seduce men all the time. So he caught feelings. I had to run away from him. I went to Seattle to go see this guy, Jeremy, who follows me and my dad's streams. That guy uh, lived in a shed, and he asked me if he could hop into bed with me. So I was feeling kind of like, I got to get out of here as well. So this girl, Ava, who followed me on Instagram, she reached out to me, and she was like, I'm in Whatever. Seattle. Do you want to hang out? And I was like, actually, I'm going to rescue you from this guy Jeremy's place because I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have a plane ticket out of here. Can I meet? Can, can you cool. just take me to your place and I crash at your place? She did. Uh, and, and Don't ever give it, it to me. It was fine. And then I All went right. back to Rhode Island. Then um, she decided to come over for a kind of show idea, a stream idea that me and my dad had called uh, The House for Wayward Hoes, where my dad would take <laughs> wayward women. At least the guy on the bottom left in the way we the situation. Humor of the well, there's a lot of women hoes. online who don't <laughs> listen to men. Uh, by the way, really quick. We did get a super chat. Hey. Smokey Guru sent $5. Ben, your face is naked. I hate it. I'm pretty. <laughs> Ooh, I'm pretty. Sorry, you can't deal with it. Thanks for the $5, Smokey. And, and kind of think they're like bad but they haven't had positive relationships with men in their life. Who's the, who's life, is and they don't know A lot of wives, too. A a dog. Dog. Most women, Tommy? generally, in America. John's I'm also myself. Uh, but I'm trying to get better. Uh, but... Yeah, well, especially women online, right? By the way, just so you know, Joshua Putman says, bottom left is Tommy C. Basically everything wrong with the show. So this. <laughs> yeah. Thank so you. my dad. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. I mean, for these guys who are fans of this show, I do really want to kind of understand. We were really short notice on the dynamics. But the basic question I have is, like, how to make sense of the fact that it, to me, it's clearly a kind of ball buster banter. But it has this veneer of, like, pleasantness that I don't understand why you don't just kind of more or less go right into. But it clearly, to me, in the title of the stream and the title of the show, it seems like you're saying, like, okay, this is going to be let's, let's go, gloves off, eventually, and you start respectfully. Okay, I can see that. But what I don't understand is then how is it that we were uh, dropped I don't understand that. Is didn't we give them exactly what they would want? Go ahead. And and, and I understand that the other dynamic is that Keem is not really Keem Star. <laughs> Keem, I guess I'll have to call him that. Is not really homies with the two guys on the bottom. They are lol cows themselves, right? Something like that. Uh, I think that's the idea. The idea is like we all poke fun of each other, but you guys are kind of like idiots, and Keem is like the straight man and blade is kind of an idiot also right so it's a lal cow's roasting a lal cow and keem is sort of the guy keeping it from going off the rails i think that's the dynamic mm, okay do you want to uh read this chat by stinky brew yeah i'd love to hear some chat because we have time because it's a premiere i just want i just want to use the premiere as a place to drop you know, to, to push people over here to have a discussion. Because, I mean, I just think if you watched it last night and you're part of his uh, audience that you'd want to, like, hash it out with me personally or whatever. You know, there might be some people who do that. We're not trying to steal anything or act nefarious, but I would just think, like, you know, we're adding to your content the interest in it. So... You got it? All right, let's keep going. <laughs> It didn't work out. So he had. By the way, if you ever want to women... take over, go ahead. Okay, sure. If you want to jump in, take uh, over. Miko. They want to or... see you, not me. Supposedly. You look so pretty today. Though. Yeah, I think that they're look feeling a lot of homosexual tension, and that's causing them nervousness, and they want to re like remind themselves that they're heterosexuals. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Just so in case you don't get too. Gay. You're not gay. You're not gay. Probably. Oh, probably. Hopefully. Probably. Uh, probably. Miko for two pounds. I think. Two euros says just for a small support. Thanks, Miko. Miko's really nice. He's from Finland, I think. Okay. 
would come over to our apartment and I would sort of, he would sort of be like the pimp and I would be like his bottom bitch. And he would uh, help de-waywardize these women by teaching them, like, you know, reading to them from the Bible. Okay, can you pause for a second because I want to respond to this. So Grace, are you good on like getting us and folks into their chat to come over? Because like, I'm not doing that. All right, and the, and I imagine it's not going to be a super long premiere, and then when that's over, like that window's closed. I think it's going to be about a half hour long. And we can keep cooking, but like a half hour long, and then and it's almost over. Uh, yeah. No, it would be over. We're seventeen minutes behind. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not sure how long it'll be, but we're seventeen minutes behind. Well, right okay, now. but you said something. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so. If, it, if you think it's going to be about a half hour, that doesn't make any sense because it's already been 37 minutes. I get what you're saying. I, I okay, so that. if you're like approximating that it's going to be seven minutes less than it already is, that's a little hard to understand. Yeah, I get what Brain you're saying. Brain damage. I get, I get what you're saying. Okay. Uh, but, okay, so this is the, like the main thing that people say is if you turn, if you, if you scroll up on the chat, mm-hmm. um, I do want to have, okay, this person who says they're super straight, um, <laughs> is saying you were dropped because you were saying it's okay to flirt with seven-year-olds. Okay, and I was saying that in the specific context, I said of an uncle complimenting his, or flirting with his niece at a wedding. All right, that's controversial. And in what sense is it controversial? Like in the sense that Team Star was worried about TOS because that's not possible because he, he by his his own glorification of the last, he said it was a terrific stream. It was all about pedophilia and allegations of pedophilia. So to say he's nervous because I introduce uh, the topic of an uncle flirting with his niece who's seven year old, seven years old at a wedding by saying, don't you have a pretty dress on? It just doesn't make sense that that's a reason to drop me. Now, is there another reason he dropped me there? Is it is it maybe because this is what I think, and I don't know the facts on this, but I saw people saying that all of these people have been in or are in relationships that are highly suspect because of age gaps or inappropriateness along these lines, which has never been true of me, nor of Grace, but that maybe they are trying to protect themselves from certain discussions because things will come up about themselves, which often does happen. That's called projection, saying like you're doing something that actually I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're uncomfortable because maybe at that wedding, they would be horny in a way they're not able to make sense of for their imagined seven-year-old niece. But in terms of actual reality, that is a totally non-controversial statement. Now, his other point was that I was saying it is okay for a dad uh, to caress his daughter or touch his daughter. Fondle. Fondle his daughter. And, of course, I was saying the same kind of point, and I was saying it about when she was a young child. And, of course, again, the same thing. Totally non-controversial. The idea that uh, YouTube's going to crack down on it. He's like, oh, I know niggas at YouTube. I, I'm down with YouTube. Me and YouTube are homies. Okay, and YouTube's going to come to him and say like, oh, wait a second. There was a man who was making comments about caressing and fondling his chill, his own biological children when they were young. This crosses the line, Keem. It doesn't. It's totally non-controversial. I wasn't being edgy in saying that at all. But I did know that people on the internet who are idiots and maybe have massive problems of some sort with pedophilia, whether it's just moral hysteria like, ah, or they've been accused of things, whether legitimately or not, uh, want to just super duper like, but it's, but rhetorically, like as far as the logic goes, and some of his chatters did say this, I think, it's obviously not a problem at all. And they'll say, well, you shouldn't say it. Okay, why not? Well, people could take it the wrong way. Yeah, if they're crazy. But uh, if I had had time to say it, I would say this kind of mentality, you could say, well, couldn't cause any harm to be extraordinarily careful in this area. Yes, it can. 
And it does. And I can prove it because kids who spend, who grow up on the internet are fearful of adults and of sexuality in a way that's in, incredibly detrimental to their social skills and to their integration as adults with sexual with their sexuality into society. It is not just people like Keemstar, but this is not helping. It's massively causing a problem. It's causing a confusion that leaves young people alienated and lonely and unable to negotiate sexuality, which is a gift, not a curse. And for me to say even the most banal, the most vanilla things about it, and to get this kind of pushback, like not even like a pushback, just woo, hysteria from grown fucking men who have children, ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a good it was a good I, video. Uh, break him, break him like a uh, wild horse. They're like breaking, breaking in women who have never yeah. listened to a man in their. Yeah, they didn't have a problem with that. They didn't have a problem. I mean, that is a funny concept, a home for wayward hoes, and I think he did a good job of marketing it. You know, like. you see that, like, Keemstar, like, kind of understands he has social skills, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he understands humor. The other guys, are, like, seem just totally out of it, honestly. They like, did, I, yeah. I, I don't think these guys could function, like, to get from point A to point B on a bus. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would say this guy and Keemstar. But I guess that's the point, is that they're off kilter. But it makes it difficult to navigate because you're assuming normalcy and you're sort of having a conversation with a person like keemstar who could pick up on for example satire or sarcasm or like something that's kind of like a funny little creative idea where the other guys are just kind of like uh yeah i agree and so how do you talk to them like yeah it's I don't tricky know. Can I, can I just, I just want to quickly say. You want to pop in a little bit, babe? Yeah, sure. Because I, daddy could use a little chat, 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 chat. <laughs> okay, sure. Smoke and break. now I get to be out on that balcony and oh, the senoritas will inquire. <laughs> it's a uh, two Mercedes. Oh, it's <laughs> muy bonita. <laughs> From dad to Chad, the Ben Thorpe <laughs> story. Through using a gay razor, Grace. It was a gay razor. No, oh, I did the job. Gay men are good at uh, hygiene and facial grooming. Hygiene isn't just something you say to a coworker named Jean in the morning when you come in for work. But um, it's a lifestyle. All right, I, I um, I just wanted to say really quickly. First of all, guys, they're still live. They're still premiering. I mean, not live, but they're premiering. So go in the chat, premiere link. Click this link. Oh shoot! Click this link. And go in their chat and uh, tell them that we're reviewing it live on my channel. Tell them, like, Grace Thorpe is reviewing this live on her channel. So we can get the viewers, because they, probably most of them already saw it. Um, but I just wanted to say that my dad was saying about how, like, I didn't play it right. And I, I just wanted to say, like, personally, I don't understand what they were looking for. Maybe because I haven't seen, I literally haven't seen any streams of their old shows where they get like a real lol cow and interview him. But to me, uh, I, I couldn't see like either way we played it. It seemed like I, I just had no idea really what they wanted as a performance because when I came in, I was sort of soft and I was just kind of playing it low key and they were bored and I get that. But then my dad came in and was obviously acting, you know, in some ways like a typical lol cow, like screaming, um, very aggressive, you know, like kind of giving them like easy softball kind of like a rant, you know, it's easy to respond to, but then they kicked him. So I'm actually like, I'm just curious fans of the show. Like what did they actually want? Like, what did they want? Did they want me to freak out? And if so, like, cause I'm a girl and maybe that would be more entertaining, but if they did want me to freak out, what would they want to see? Like, what would they crying? Just yelling at them because that that only goes so far, you know? Like what am I gonna do? Sit there and just just scream at them? You guys just weren't compatible. Time to move on to bigger and better things. I agree. I don't I don't I don't know how anybody could be compatible with a show, to be honest. I don't I don't know I don't understand what they're looking for. Like I, I get like if you go on fucking um Jimmy Kimmel or what's his fit uh Jimmy Fallon and he's interviewing you, he wants somebody who's funny, who's weird, who he can ask questions to, and it's like 10 minutes and then you're gone, right? 
That's that's the mechanic of this hotel. His name is Dan. He's been doing this all day. Oh, tell me. Can you guys hear the music in the background? He brings his fucking loudspeaker around the fucking hotel and just blasts music right outside of our fucking room. Of course it's right outside of our fucking room. Move. Um, they want more RFK Jr. impressions, I swear. Uh, Keemstar has a history of failed podcasts. This will be one of them. It does. It seems like a failing show to me. Um, but I, I missed what you guys. Hold on. Let me let me see what you said. You guys just don't get it. They wanted to create drama. Um, Ben looks Ben looks like he fell in a nuclear reactor. Let's see. Your dad took the bait and fed into it. They just ambushed. They did the same thing to Blade when he was a guest. Yeah, that's fine. I I I don't actually have a problem with that. I'm just saying that that they they kicked him afterwards i don't really know what they were looking for they have no idea what they're going to do with the show they couldn't get dsp and now it's just floundering uh, okay that makes sense to me who's dsp though but that makes sense to me it just doesn't seem like there's any real format it's like you go into it too fast i mean did any of you guys watch um ethan klein h3 h3 he interviewed jesse lee peterson who is a lol cow and i think he would say he's a lol cow in the sense that he's kind of like a funny guy, shock jock, kind of like people have a certain reaction to him. He's generally considered a lol cow. Ethan Klein did an interview with him in which he was nasty and brought up like the, you know, the Twitter thing, all the rumors and stuff. But he did the interview right in the sense that he was nice to Jesse Peterson. They, he built up a rapport and then he kind of epically trolled him by showing this, you know, this supposed uh, image of whatever, something gay on Twitter that Jesse Lee Peterson supposedly liked. Right. Yeah. Where are we at now? Are they still live? Uh, let me check. I want 200. Yeah, they're still live. They're 48 minutes in. I want 200. Here you go. I want 300. Grace. Well, we're at 170. Killing it. Love it. All right. I didn't, li I didn't hear what you had to say. Oh, here but, you go. Uh, I was just saying it was almost impossible to navigate, both for you and me. And somebody said maybe we just weren't compatible. And people are also saying, like, the show is falling off. They have no idea really what they're doing. Oh, yeah. It seems chaotic. And maybe they're just letting it cook because it's relatively new. It's a new project. Mm. I think the concept of saying, like, there are some wild people on the Internet that would be interesting. And we've got a whole ton of them that we've interacted with that we'd love to see and we promoted uh, if any of you folks are unfamiliar with the great, the one, the only, the general Hormaxer on a channel named, a little little known channel named Street Maxer, he is one of the great, you could call him a lol cow, I guess, or something like that, but he's also a genius. He's a genius. His philosophy makes no sense whatsoever, but he, he speaks it with a passion and gets a lot of things right. Um, he's, he's a genius on the internet, so highly promote go to his channel subscribe and get get involved and bring women too it'd be just it's so much fun over there it's just that he's always asking people to come up and he's bombastic but i mean come on it's the internet also, but we'd love to see him on uh law cow live yeah, He'd blow I it up and, and we've got 10 more behind him yeah who are true law cows oh um just a it's it just it's just a feast we are a feast we are we are we have a whole cornucopia of fascinating characters Lalo? yeah it would be just really interesting to bounce around stuff with them i just think that probably they're more like suited for that genre because they're easier to kind of just write off as you know in some ways off the rails whereas i don't really think that's as easy to say about us because we're just too good at it but I think that also is Kino. <laughs> okay, Grace. Okay, sorry. Here you go. Do you mind if I have a little time? Yeah, go ahead, babe. We're doing good. Anyways, um, this girl Ava decided to come over. She decided to, she was like, oh, I'll, I'll do that. You know, it'll be funny. He pulled her, he, he said, okay, we have to establish trust. So he pulled her hair to say like, I'm going to like, Pull your hair, and you hurt me in some way, and then we've then we've bonded physically. And that was a good explanation of what I was doing. Yeah, she got a little freaked out. I was. I would have said. I would have said. A little, uh, like, I mean, if we could pause for a second, yeah. I, I would have said like, I would have. This is a problem with females, which is why we've kind of switched. If you notice positions, 
Uh, this is now really, it says great story by AKA Abel. This is really, I'm the driver. It's gonna be I'm the man and she's the assistant. <laughs> what did you say? So, and Grace is super happy. She finally thought solved all of her problems because she was hesitant to go on the internet and have to do a man's job. And she's not going to do that anymore. She's going to be my little Ghislaine. And she's going to be working angles, coming in, laughing, whatever, doing tech and all that stuff. And daddy is going to be doing the hard hitting and carrying because I can turn this stuff on and off like nothing. I can bring it anytime it's needed. But I would have, one thing that females have prob, trouble doing is framing because they're kind of like, oh, I, I don't know. I, I just want to get to the punchline, right? So they don't, they don't set up jokes, which is why women can't. Women have, can have a great sense of humor, but they can't. They don't have the patience to set up like a Norm McDonald style five-minute joke that actually has no punchline. Only a man can have that patience and the confidence in the, like, the, the anti-humor to do that. So, and also telling stories. It's hard for women to like step back and go like, all right, let's slow it down. Let's frame it. Let's build tension, and then let's hit. Let's hit it at the end. So in this case, I would have said like, so my dad had this concept, and he had worked her on stream. She had had sex with a black drug dealer. Um, he had done his uh, "I Will Be Your Father" from George Michael, father figure song with her to initiate her verbally over the internet. She got him. He got her to say, you're my daddy. Um, and then he went in real life. Uh, we arrived. And because Grace had been tormenting me all the way there, which she used to do because she wanted to get the get us in the like she intuitively did it, but it was terrible way to do it. But like to get us in the frame of mind. So I was ragingly angry when we picked her up and I went too fast into, uh, you know, the process. Um, and, uh, obviously she should have initiated her originally. They should have got their hair done. And then you come home and you get a little bit dirty and, uh, we didn't do that. So we jumped right into it. I was super nice about it, but I was like, let's initiate each other into pain, a little BDSM, a little light BDSM. And I said, go ahead, hit me first, hit me hard, you know, and this is a thing that, that happens. Um, but, uh, you know, I did want it to be kind of real. And then I, but I said to her, like, of course, it's all just content. And, uh, Grace didn't even turn the camera on. So we missed it. So it's just a story, but it was not only just pulling her hair, but it was also, then we went for a walk and I, we got some lemonades, but I, she went up and she ordered for herself. And I was like, no, 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 no. You stand here. And I told her where to stand. And I, or, you know, I said, or, or I told her what to order when she wouldn't do that. And then, you know, I told her how we're going to do it. And then I took her for a little walk and I told her to sit, I told her to stay with me. And I was at the whole time going like, Ava, you know, this is what we're going to do. I think it'd be really funny. We weren't doing it on camera. And I was just saying like, Ava, this is going to be really funny and really interesting content. And, you know, you could tell she kind of wasn't getting it, but like, I don't give a fuck. And I did tell her like, if you're not going to listen to me, then there was a dog bowl there. And I was going to say, like, I could have had you, like, kneel down and drink from that dog bowl, which was perfectly clean. But, you know, we are going to do this because that's the point. And our chat raised, like, $200 to fly her from Seattle to Rhode Island to see this content. So, like, yeah, I'm, I'm a nice guy. Yeah, you're not going to be forced to do anything. Yeah, you're not going to be put in a position. But come on, sister, you got to give it up here. And she freaked out and called her parents, apparently, without telling us. So I was like, oh, I'm feeling scared. Just what a wayward hoe will do in a situation like that. And then her uncle and aunt came from Massachusetts, drove down, and secretly, secretly were telling her, we're going to rescue you, honey. And then, of course, when they did arrive, she also pretended like they were, she was victims of them. And she's like, can you save me from them? I don't want to do this. I trust you guys. And it's like... This is waywardness on every imaginable level. It's a funny story, but Grace, you know, well, yeah, tried to explain it, but like she kind of encapsulated it where it's a little bit confusing, but tried to do her best. So let's keep going. It's a whole thing anyways. Yeah. So it, it was sort of like it was failed Riz on his part, I would say the pulling of the hair, but yeah, it yeah, sounds like failed Riz show at the time. I, I think he failed when he got a meth head to try to break. 
<laughs> no, that's funny. Oh, wow, no. she was a cute. She's like, she was good. She was gonna be How good. How cute for the could show. she she's be? Like she probably unhinged. had spots. Spots? Nah, what are you talking about? Like, like when when kid chicks know. get meth, they like get their black teeth and they start getting like spots like a leopard <laughs> when they're really deep into it. Mm. I don't know that. I don't know too many meth heads. Um, I did see like in this documentary thing that I was trying to watch that your dad sold a company for like 600k or something. Again, again, like you didn't watch it. Did you even have a notebook next to you? Like it wasn't a company. It was a real estate mini empire with 10 residences. That's super clear. No one said I sold a company. And then you've been trying to do uh, this streaming career and he just recently ran out of money. Is that true? That's why I'm so grateful to you for inviting me on your <laughs> show. Yes, uh, my that dad funny. sold a bunch of real estate when the housing market skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. and, Look at these uh, other, then we had like Q-Star at least kind of understands. He responds, like he's smiling, even though he's wearing sunglasses, has this like beard covering him and the hat. He looks like someone who's on the run from the law with this incredibly dark background that he blends into and also has decided to put finish on so that his lighting is reflecting off of it, which is like, I don't know. This is like 5.4 million viewer optics. You could get any consultant in the entertainment industry would say immediately, here's five things you can do. Bright background, don't show your lighting, don't wear a t-shirt, take the fucking hat off, the facial hair, whatever, but why are you wearing dark sunglasses? Like it's like you're 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 like hiding in a closet is what you look it looks like. But he's a gem socially and optically compared to these other guys. Could you could you could you concoct in your wildest dreams? three less charismatic characters than these guys or even like even socially adept in a basic level it's like it's like let's go to the group home where the toastoids are sitting there where they're like i, I have a jersey i have a jersey i got it signed from someone eh. Jews that sucked away a lot of that money and uh we are now currently semi-broke so simps please come to my channel grace lord <laughs> Donos are very much appreciated. Was the OnlyFans pop off? Actually. All right. So there are some uh, requests for other stories. We'll go into stories. We got new. We got new folks here. Happy to do new, like old lore for new folks. But I want to like get through this material, and you know, get that segue of the new folks who are familiar with uh, Lol Cal Live, familiar with Keemstar, familiar, I guess, with these other guys. <laughs> I can't believe any of them have a YouTube channel globules of fat down in the bottom right has a youtube channel look at the guy i mean you couldn't be less engaged sitting there with your hand on your fist coming up with optics like that looking like he does wearing a t-shirt as a middle-aged man i mean come on but whatever you know whatever happy to have you over here happy to have his fans over here Happy to have Keemstar's fans over here. And I, I want to give them kind of like a, maybe, you know, they could come pop over here, see if they find it interesting. Obviously there's a mutual sort of interest in this material. So I'm gonna stick with that for now. And later on today, I'm talking with Ethan Ralph. We're gonna be setting up some fire. You're gonna watch the, uh, we're gonna break the goddamn internet with Andrew Wilson. Over the next few weeks, it's going to be fire. It's going to be unbelievable. You, you, I tell you right now, this team that you've seen, this me and Grace thing, it's been a mess. It's been all over the place. It, you're going to see it. Like We're going to link up, and we are going to kill it. And you'll see it here. 190 is going to be a pipe. It's going to be in the back. Yesterday, we would have been through the roof with 190. Now I'm looking at 190. I'm going, that should be 10 times that. But we're going to do it, and we're going to do it fast. And you'll be here on the bottom floor. I have an OnlyFans. I'm planning to do um, a very very niche thing on my OnlyFans. So I haven't posted anything yet, but What's my OnlyFans What's a niche thing is, on your OnlyFans? I know this guy named Hormaxer, who Wayward. is a positive uh, Jewish guy. Yeah, the OnlyFans thing, that was actually a good pivot because Grace has this terrific idea that I helped her concoct with Hormaxer, again, Street Maxer on YouTube. He's basically our late night kind of cooker. He's, he's if you want to stay with us, you know, for you, but you're only available late at night, cook it on Hormaxer. He's he's absolute gem. 
And uh, yeah, she explains this really terrific idea on OnlyFans. But again, what they're saying is, when are you going to start doing porn and show your pussy on the internet? So we're not being nice guys here because that's what people think OnlyFans is. It's not what OnlyFans is, but that's what they're saying. When are you going to take your top off, show your pussy, and engage in sexual acts publicly? Grace, we're not being nice guys here. You're not being nice guys here. You're taking a 21-year-old girl and the four of you are putting her through this kind of gross analysis and suggestiveness, right? Based on nothing, based on rumors. But that's fine as long as you own it when it comes back to you. Who streams, right? So what he's going to do is we're going to do some exercise. So (laughs) every time I do a push-up, he's going to coach me and I have to say like, I'm a I'm a I'm fat. I am only worthy for my holes. And I'm going to sit, and he's going to do the push-up. Again, again, if you look at the reactions, okay, Keemstar understands that's a funny gag, right? That's kind of like this, right? And Grace could have set it up a little bit more. But again, I think she was feeling like, I, I thought it was just going to be a guest here. I didn't think there was just going to be me going, like, just run it, like, you know, set it. So she didn't want to, I think, take up too much time. But they're, they're asking her to cook it. Okay, and she could have cooked it a little more, but she cooked it enough. We're at Keemstar's all like kind of off his chair. And the guy bottom left, Bobby C, Billy C, whatever his name is, um, at least reacts with humor. The guy bottom right is again like like he's like he's been a little bottomized. And the guy upper left is just kind of like, eh? And I, I don't understand how these guys are like invited to this, how they're bringing anything to this. It's with me. That's the idea. You know, BDSM you know people exercise. pay more for you a second doing this right <laughs> it's kind of my okay and then globules of fat has a nice like which is fine that's fine to say like more pe- people would pay more for you to be sucking dick okay okay so you're saying like okay porn how about porn again it's not respectful okay but like you're saying this to a 21 year old girl when you know her dad's there and like okay okay fine you're i don't mind that at all She's an adult. She can say something. You can say something like that to her. But what I don't understand is when I come at you a little bit and say like, hey, maybe you're the degenerates. Maybe you're the lol cows that suddenly there's this huge protection of these disgusting men or men who are acting disgusting. Especially when the entire if I can just say the entire premise of the show is that they are lol cows. Yeah, these guys you're pointing out. I think they want safe lol cows who are so crazy that like they don't make you look bad. And you notice Keemstar here, his body language. Now he's starting to see like it's a little more tricky than just going, hey, drunk girl. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. And he folds his arms to make it even less optically engaged on his own stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should be going, see, this is the difference between a real creator and a fake creator. Someone who's in the entertainment business and someone who's in the narcissistic self-love business an entertainer would go i love this this is way more interesting than i thought it would be this isn't just a simple sort of drunk girl 21 year old crazy girl we've seen all of them sluts like lav on the internet okay this is something much more interesting because there's some substance there's some humor there's some personality Mm -hmm. and what's his reaction fold his arms and kind of lean back and make himself even more obscure on his own (laughs) screen I mean, this guy's like melting into the wall, look, basically. Look, 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 look at him hiding like behind his glasses. He looks like he's somebody, feeling threatened. He looks like he's feeling threatened by a 21 year old <laughs> micro niche YouTube streaming girl who's making herself very vulnerable and allowing them to do this stuff. What the fuck? Where? What's the psychology there? Look at him hiding. Uh, Sponge says they're normie sphere lol cows, to be honest. Yeah. I think that's the problem, problem. normie sphere. I think that they actually have no experience in like kind of blood sports and sort of like real shit on the internet. They're like guys at a gym who like politely spar because they're like working out and they have no idea when an actual boxer comes in and they're like, okay, we're doing this. And then the boxer just bam hits them and they're like, what? We were the Sean Strickland to their Sneeko. We were the Sean Strickland to their Strico, Sneeko. That's right. Yeah. Strico. Except in terms, but 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 they are streamers. I know. Okay, so it's not like Sneeko, like that nigga doesn't know how to fight really, right? But like, okay, he's he's an amateur, but like, that's not what he does 
for a living to the tune of millions of followers. Like, what are you doing? If you've got millions of followers, you should have people working for you. What are you doing? I don't know. Are you making like no money off 5 million followers? Do you know how, do you know how much an advertiser would pay to have access to your fan base? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. You're not, you're not making it into anything. And you just come up with this plywood board that you blend into. We can see your lights. Mm -hmm. You're wearing sunglasses, a hat to hide yourself. You've got this way too long beard. Like, dude, it's not 1997, <laughs> nigga. Look, and you look. wear a t-shirt and you fold your arms and if there's someone with personality who's bringing something to your chat you move yourself into a more obscure position you don't even assert yourself within your own fucking rectangle mm -hmm. what look at him look at him from far away if you see on the screen look at it he, he, he's you he, he can barely even see him what he's are you some kind of in. shy little guy who's like used to be just this loser in high school and like you actually don't even have the minimal kind of horniness for content and entertainment, but you just like sort of you don't know how you got here, but like you don't know what you're doing, but you're just hoping like it'll last. And so you're not gonna do anything to to, to take advantage of the situation you have, nigga. You gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here. I'll take your followers. I'll take your clout because I'll make something happen with it. This is a man. I've got a pair that works and I'm an old dude. You're a young guy. You're in great shape. What the fuck? Um, let me see. Hagbard says Keemstar doesn't have a fan base. Lol. He got subs doing drama alert, which is covering streamer drama. So, well, I mean, this 5.4 million people who clicked on, that is a lot of people. It is a lot. And there were... 4,000 people watching live. That's a lot of people. A lot of people, yeah, that's true. Whatever that is, you don't want to call it a fan base? I don't know. It's something. Mm -hmm. It's very impressive. I give them props, whatever. I don't know. But it just looks like I'm just saying to myself, how did this nigga get to this place? And I think maybe it's just because there weren't people here. It's just like there was. it was just an empty space. It was a vacuum that he filled. But, like, if you don't belong there, like, you're going to have to move on over because, like, I want them followers. Well, if you I want them followers. Why don't you get a pretty girl to be on stream with you? Why not? You, you think this is the best you could do? You don't even want one pretty girl on there? You can't even just hire a pretty girl? Where, where's the instinct for entertainment? You know this is almost entirely male audience. You can't find mm -hmm. one charming female. She doesn't have to say much, but why wouldn't you have her on there? Why you sit in there like an incel? folding your arms with a t-shirt on, dark sunglasses on, a beard that covers most of your face, and a hat, like, like, nigga, it's like, we can see like three square inches of your actual face. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you look like a homeless dude. You look like someone who's petrified of your own content. He looks like somebody who dressed up to hide his identity, like an FBI yeah. guy who put on like a fake beard and sunglasses. Yeah. And stuff. That's yeah. what he looks like. That's what he looks like. It, it looks like if you Google like a guy who's hiding, that's what you come <laughs> up with. And can I just say that I think, um, I don't know if they've ever had a female on the show, but I think part of interviewing women is that you have to have some riz. You have to be able to kind of like make them comfortable yeah. and get them going. I'm not a stand-up comedian. Like, you know what I mean? Like they just no, totally yeah, you were just like the ball. Yeah, and then they, they, they actually did that at the end. But it's like this, it's this like, um, you're on stage, right? It makes you feel like very self-conscious. And yeah. it's like, you didn't expect them to just be like these blobs just yeah, sitting there. Yeah, no, I didn't. And just kind of going like, saying nasty things a few times and then just, you're just cooking the whole thing. It makes you feel like a jerk. Kind of like, it, you're, it does, like yeah. you're taking the center stage, but mm -hmm. like, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Like you guys ever heard of a show? Right. Like you're sitting there, obviously your optics are terrific and they're going like, oh, pfft. I mean, I guess we're done here. Oh, <laughs> you, you ever see uh, another dad and daughter? You want to swing with them? You should talk to some dick. Uh, oh, that would make you more money. When only fans. <laughs> I'm going to go eat more potato chips. Like nothing charming, nothing interesting. And even if you're going to get guys who are like losers, like Lolcows, at least they should be animated. Yeah. Sitting there, this guy's sitting there, continuing to sit there with his head in his fist. The other <laughs> guy is hunched over. Yep. Bad optics showing off his fucking jerseys. Dude, that is so lame. And this other guy is in this loser 
apartment with this gross couch with pillows all over it and this gross piece of artwork behind him. This gross, I mean, why? Thing because I have gained weight and he is a good um, coach in that sense. So we'll what is what is together. that's the what is up with this clip where somebody like slapped you and you're like yes daddy or some sh like can I can I just say like I think it's just you're just you're just bad at doing your own show if it's just one question after the other there's well, no like okay. but there's no response right I know it's, right it's very hard to gauge like which way do you want what's me to with go this here? what's with that and right. and then all of his clips are referring to things that didn't happen. There's a clip where you say you're getting slapped and saying, yes, daddy. Is there any clip like that? No, I, I think he was referring to the Darius clip of him slapping. Oh, him, right. I didn't say that, but I did. Yeah, I was kneeling down. I got slapped. Yeah. I don't like, know. Like, what, what? It's like a 10 second clip. Can you watch it? And if you're not intelligent enough to like, just say like, that's what I saw. And I can use my mouth and my vocal cords to articulate what that was, then maybe you should write it down on a piece of paper or have a teleprompter. Mm. But I mean, if you're that cognitively impaired, what are you doing in the communications field? Slapped you, slapped you. Oh, Darius? Yeah, is that real? <laughs> okay, yeah, he really did slap me and really my ears were ringing. It was the best thing he probably ever did in his life. But <laughs> what happened was uh, this guy Darius was like a Twitch streamer in the Destiny sphere. Um, he came over to do IRL content at my house and he was kind of a jerk. So I burned the clothes <laughs> that he, one. I ditched him at my mom's, po po at my mom's house. <laughs> and he started crying on her porch and then I burned his clothes on live stream while he was over there. Um, and then he was really mad All right, about pause that, for so a second. Kind of had this okay, put on Julia's. Okay, Julia, I want to respond to this. Julia, Keem, okay. Keem did what he does best, which is trigger people, a.k.a. you guys. No problem. I have no problem with that, and I'm not saying, hey, that was disrespectful. No problem. I get that the veneer of respect is just a way to make someone feel comfortable so you can then get them. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so then when you're triggered, and we're bringing the heat and the smoke and the sharp banter... And making also like obviously non-controversial points, not using wild language, basically just calling these guys bitches and not particularly Keem. I never really hit Keem. No. Okay. You hit his lol cows is who you Right. Hit. I hit his guest who's whatever, right? I didn't even like know that that was what was going on. I didn't even hit the hosts. I hit the guests who's just bringing nothing, but, but chose to, you know, draw first blood. So I'm coming in swinging and that's the point. So why do you click off of it and then sit there for the rest of your show going like, geez, I got nothing, I got nothing else. We planned nothing else. There's no yeah. plan B. I wonder if this guy might be around. Oh, maybe we should cover this review content. Fuck you, dude. Anyone can do that. You've got people who you triggered. Mm -hmm. But then you protect point. yourself. Grown men with huge clout and huge connections. Yeah. And I never get an explanation. We never get an explanation for it. There's only one possible explanation, which is that you got outclassed and then you pulled the plug on your own success mm -hmm. because this is actually about your narcissism, not actually what entertainment is. Who would pull the plug on if David Letterman had a guest? Okay, I understand at a certain point you pull the plug if it gets violent or whatever. If he's got a guest that the the crowd is loving, even if they're hating him. Mm -hmm. It's like Jerry Springer pulling the plug when it gets a little wild, okay? That's the whole point of the show. I assume this is the whole point of this show. And it's interesting intellectually, and it's also dynamic. Yeah. Why do you pull the plug? Uh, Ju says farmers get possessive of their livestock. Yeah. You mean of his, like he got possessive of his cows, these guys? Ben White yeah, it was this idea of we're protecting each other. I guess, from what? Success? Ben, your nipples are located halfway down your torso. <laughs> I have a long, long torso, yeah. They're also widely separate, wide <laughs> apart. Oh, I just stimulated myself. <laughs> I do have an unusual Bit chest. Like get back at me when I visited him in LA. So he slapped me. 
So mm. it was a real slap, yeah, but it was, you know, he asked me ahead of time if I was okay with it. I said, yeah. Did well, you hear those? Are, are you boings? looking for love currently, Grace? Why? Huh? Are you single? Uh, I didn't hear them. When they were coming through? No. But the chat heard, like, the channel heard. What? What is that? It's this uh, super chats. It's like oh, a okay. Switch notification. Okay. I'm just, no, I'm not single, but only use me blade is. Well, I'm not that single. <laughs> you're a what hot he mess. So. He, uh, I, I was making it. Yeah, you're, you're trying to flirt with him. Blade was single, this guy. And he said what? I, I think he said, I'm single, but not that single. That's Keem. What did the other guy say? No, no, no. Keem said he wasn't single. And then Blade said, I'm single, but not that single. Mm -hmm. Like for me. Like right. he wouldn't, you know. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a, a internet degenerate. degenerate. I'm an internet degenerate. And could you I'm, could you imagine a grace? Now I just I I just have to say, I was I was kind of off my game. You want to take it for a little bit? No, that's fine. All right. But I am just saying right here, I should have said something like, I wouldn't touch you, for like all the money. Like I would I would like, all I would the never, tea in China. I would never come near you. You are disgusting. You you really think like you're gonna pass me up you would never even have a chance right but well, i mean you know, that's easy obviously obviously and only use me blade drunk stream <laughs> well, that's, that's different that's 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 it, all it would probably look yeah. like the beck and blade drunk stream <laughs> no 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 i heard uh, blade uses the n-word yeah for some for some reason when i'm blacked out drunk i i said the n-word i don't know why so Actually, I had an entire wait. Can, can, are you guys okay with me saying it? Like, uh, no, uh, no, please, uh, please, uh, please okay. don't. But I did see a I'm clip. With it. You want to pop I, in? I seen a clip of you saying the N word just the other day when you were crying about um, you needed money. So what's up with that? You don't think it's racist? No, I I just think it's hilarious. I I've had black men pay me money to call them. This that. was good. You, I don't you really see good, uh, like nobody's I call, I call, I call, I call cap on that one. Uh, I call oh, no, you, you had I literally had you money no, to say the to, word. Was this yeah, when you're like YouTube, booking or being? This is good. You actually or said like, like no, no, no. It, it was on a stream. As it's on my YouTube channel, Grace Thorpe AK Jr. You go to the shorts. Hot black guy begs me to call him the N word. He sent in a super chat asking me to call him the N word. Then he came on stream when I wouldn't, and he said, "Can you say it to my face?" I literally, it's, it's up there. How do you know it's from him though? How do you know it's from him though? That could be easily. It could easily be some 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 dude sitting at home being like. The way you explained it, it doesn't even make sense. This criticism. Maybe it was some other dude. But right. It was him, and he followed up by coming on and right. saying, "Say it to my face." I guess technically it could be another black guy, but the point being, it was a black guy. Yeah, really? whatever. Like, whatever. <laughs> They're trying to push back. Okay. You could see mm. his face. He was cute. But uh, I actually also had a speed date where a black guy asked me if we could do race play, and I could be like, you know, the mistress of the house, and I could whip him. I don't know. I'm not particularly into it, but as far as the black community seems to like it, so <laughs> I don't really know um, where to go from here. <laughs> I'm just lost. Well, so the the chat won't, won't Okay, so but wait a second. Now here here I think you get the normie thing. Okay, you said a few things. It's kind of like not that big of a deal to say like you say the n-word. Yeah. Uh and also what was your other thing? Your only fans thing. Yeah. All right, at this point I think again it goes back to the folded arms and he's like I'm lost. Yeah. Like this is so crazy. You were a grown man in the entertainment business and this is like Holy, what is, well, what is shocking here? I do. If Zena was on, she'd be talking about suck of dicks, felonies, violent attacks with shivs, right? That yeah. I can see you being like, holy, you're, 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 you're and, and like she's owning it all. Like, yeah, yeah, I fuck for clout, right? That kind of crazy shit. Mm -hmm. You're saying like, who's not aware that there are people who have fetishes including race play, right? Mm. And whatever the other thing was, it's relatively banal. I think that's what tricked him, actually. It's like, you're just charming. You're just saying charming things. Like, it's not, they're not getting the whole, like, they no, want you I to just say, just say something gross or do something gross. Yeah, yeah. Then they could be like, oh, yeah, now we're in our lane because this right. is an yeah. obviously kind of crazy person. Mm -hmm. That's not what happened. And I think that's what was a play. But they're trying to play it off like, oh, guys, we got a real wild one on our hands here. She did something on the internet of using the N-word to a black guy. Mm -hmm. Like, what are we going to do? 
well, niggas, you got to get out into the world a little bit more and get into the like rougher parts of YouTube because like th th this doesn't make any sense. You're just too normy. Well, I, you're you're, well, you're like just... you're like shocked old women at a knitting thing going like she said what? I know, but it's ridiculous. I, I saw... The internet is twenty twenty four. You're a young man. What are you talking about? I I. I... I, I, I do I, understand. I, Grace, break time I, for that. But, but I understand why they do that. Don't talk to me. Talk to the, the chat. Point I, of the I don't show want to talk to you is every to day. have this super I love it. Thank you. hyped up response to everything. You know what I mean? So yes. like, they kind of, it's like part where of the, the guy on the bottom left is like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I think it's manufactured. But do I think it's entertaining? Not really, but why? it's a certain but type like, of thing. It's but, like, whoa. What they're saying is they need, they're like, they're like these guys who like, can't like they they climax in five seconds or they don't climax at all. Like, yeah, cook it a little, have a little fun before you blow your load. Right, right. But they just needed to be like hilarious punchline. It's like, right. Have you ever been to a comedy show that you just need one fast joke after the next? What are you crack addicts? I guess they. Th that is kind of the point of the show. Yeah. Okay. But it's a long perk. form show too. Yeah, it is a long form show. It's so supposed to go for like two, three hours. Little, I'm pretty like, sure. Yeah, maybe it's not something. That's something that's exactly what you expect. It's the entertainment industry. Right. Roll with it. Right. It's not like you have advertisers say we want this exact format and we need it totally under control. It's like cook it a little. Right. Where's your instinct? Mm. Too much pressure for a guest. Bye. Um getting kicked was a W. Thanks, Pitt. Um little thing happened when I went out for a smoke. Uh Lauren Dega Laguna. Gave me a call and um she asked me if i was going on the whatever podcast and i just told her like they still haven't responded and i'm not i just don't know what the deal is and she said that she would give me their exact address of like the studio if i wanted to just like go outside and wait outside of it which i think is kind of funny so she does send me the address and she said she didn't care if i told people it was her if she does get me the address that could be a possibility but um, okay, Sponge wants me to react to this video. All right, let's see what what's the video. Lauren W. Yeah, it was nice of her to offer. I don't know, though. I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't know. Uh, but she, apparently she doesn't give a shit, so. I don't know. I might have to message them again. We'll see. Uh, it's weird that they don't, won't have you on when they need chicks. When they have chicks flake all the time and need to fill seats. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not particularly TOS and I, I still, even though I highly dislike Andrew Wilson, I don't think he said don't have me on because I don't think he's going to like try to claim that he has that much pull on that show. Cause I don't think he does. I don't think he's like half running the whatever podcast. Great idea. <laughs> Do you have the money to go to LA? Well, that's why you guys should donate. Please send in your super chats. I will read them live. Send in the super chat so that we can get that. We can get that. Uh, we can get that money up. We can get that bread. What time is it? Oh, my dad has to go on Ethan Ralph in forty minutes, and we can uh, fund a trip to LA. We are in Texas, so it wouldn't be that far if I do get the address. But we we do need money to do that. So if you want to see that content, if you want to see me go and stand outside of the whatever podcast studio, uh, please send in your donuts so we can fund that trip. Okay, uh, so this is the video that Sponge wanted me to react to. Blade swatted on New Year's 2023 to, okay. Imagine being so poor that $4 oh, no. matters to you. Oh no. Hey Brian. Brian, show me your hand. Uh, Brian. Uh, hey, can you talk to us, Brian? I can't see you. Hey, Brian. Can you come talk to us? Lumber County Sheriff's Office. We want to make sure you're okay. Hey, Brian. No, you're good. No, you're good. No, you're good. So you're good, man. No, you're good. No, you're good. No, you're good. Brian, 
Riso donated $4. I have a Glock. Any of you cops come through that door is getting shot. Go ahead and see if I'm hey, black Brian. or pee. I dare you. We want to make sure you're okay. Can you come to the door, please? I'm there. You know, I have a question about this, which is, um, by the way, let me know how the audio is balanced, if this is too loud compared to the video. But uh, I am just wondering if he has this whole dono thing set up and like he has a stream going and obviously he has decent Wi-Fi and everything. How out of it could he really be? Like he's playing this up, right? By not responding. Or maybe not though, because I, I mean, I think people overhype swatting. I don't think they're gonna come in there and just shoot him. Right, I don't think he has to be worried. I, you know, probably he's he's they're police, right? They're gonna be professional, so I don't think he's worried about them like actually hurting him. He's gone. He has holes in his legs from drinking. Everyone involved is low tier. I I would agree. Yes. He has it working, and then he gets blacked out. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Are you okay? No. Anonymous donated four dollars. Fuck, fuck, fuck the police. Fuck, fuck, fuck the police. Fuck, fuck, fuck the police. Fuck up. Subscribe. Four dollars. Anonymous donated four dollars. Four hundred years of not okay. Hey, Brian. Hey. I mean, this stuff is so stupid. It's a waste of police time. It's a waste of resources. It's just so boring, in my opinion. But I guess that's what everybody's afraid of, right? Okay, sure. Are you up for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would think... I would not think it was funny for the police if I got... If we got swatted because... Uh, I just think it's a waste of their time, and they get all hyped up because they're like nervous that something's going on. Swatting, you want to give us content? Get us swatted. It would be content know, though, and I always like. I always like. That's illegal. It is illegal. It's not illegal for us. It's illegal for whoever. Comes. No. But the boys in blue have always been good to us. Yeah, and I like police officers. So. Embrace my blue a little bit of a authoritarian fetish. <laughs> uh, are you taking a little nap before your Ethan Ralph appearance? When's that happening? Like thirty minutes. Are we still, Grace? What I'm concerned about is, are we still? Is King Star still, is the premiere still going? No, it ended. All right, so we we got whatever we got out of that. Yeah, we got what we got. <laughs> okay. Um, Amanda, you're welcome to say these two actually sleep together and do incest poon, whatever that means. But you need to stop spamming, so I'm gonna time you out. Don't ever give out your location because it can happen very easily. I don't care if we're swatted. Quality in San Marcos, Texas. Quality in near Texas State University, yeah, San Marcos, Texas. Yeah. Uh, are you streaming the Ralph thing? So yeah. I highly so recommend it if you're in San Marcos. The Quality Inn. Yeah. It's very nice. It lives up to its name. Very, it's one of the nice nicest people. hotels. Yeah. Say whatever you want as long as it's funny. What does that mean? Refer referencing what? You say that now until they do it over and over. I don't care. At a certain point, you know, they they just won't. The police understand. We already had that happen, basically. We're safe. It's America. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay. You I'm sure ready. you don't want to take a little break? Grace, I'm, I'm literally fine. I'm not, like, stressed out. It's up to you if you really want to. If you want to. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> I, we were like we were watching this video of this guy Blade. Remember that guy? He was on. Yeah. Uh, it was him getting swatted, mm -hmm. and it, it was just like the police knocking at his door, and you, you know. And then eventually they came in. And he was blackout drunk. I just think mm -hmm. all of that stuff is so low tier. Whatever. Yeah. But I guess it gives you, it gives you an, it gives you a little window into what Keemstar and the gang think is epic content. It's so lame. It's so lame. It's so it's so it's so uncreative. You know, using the police, using like a police thing. Use like you so lack creativity that yeah. you have to like take like resources away from a community that are there to protect and maybe needed in emergencies for your own entertainment. It's so lame. Mm. But go ahead. All right. 
So let's go back to this. I can't. Do your shirt up. <laughs> Look, I, I cannot can't. do it. This is my son's shirt when he was a, a <laughs> child. It's what I've been no, relegated. No, it's, it's his shirt from now. That's no, it is not. John, mm -hmm. he could fit this? Yeah. No, no. You're 6'8". He's 6'3 or something. He well. Could Grace is dissing my good time. I don't think it's... I don't. Oh, think it was the hotel that called the police. So, okay, so it wasn't... Oh. It right. wasn't a SWAT. Well, yeah. That's different then. Bottle incident. Yeah, what is the beer bottle incident? Oh, okay. That's a good one. Um... So, but again, my critique my race on this was like, the like, it would have been better, like, because I think that you had an, an, a tendency. I think it's normal in girls, like they they they, they can't do stand up because they're racing to the punchline. They can't set up stories because they they don't want to have like they're not sure enough about the tension building. Sure, yeah, that's. It would have been better to like cook a, the a few stories rather than, but they also should have not just done this like. Here, this one, this one, this one. You know, it should have been like some back and forth I afterwards. Agree. And even with this to say, one. To say, well, well, let's explore this a little bit. Why yeah. don't we explore this dynamic? But they're just like, hey, dance the jig. Boom, I went one jig, two jigs, right. three jigs. I mean, it's okay. It's like that interrogation style. But it's it's like the underlying thing is justify yourself in these ways. That's okay. But, but uh, you're itching. You're, you're begging for me to come up. And I did come up and I threw some smoke. And then all of a sudden. Yeah it's like the women and the men's support group that is like everyone's protecting themselves i guess but although i do have to say on behalf of kim kim i'm not really coming after him <coughs> um you know he was fairly polite he didn't really like say like these people are the worst right he didn't really just do that i think he just was like i don't know like i'm i'm just nervous and i'm hitting this button yeah he didn't follow up by you know trying to say anything about it i think it was just like kind of embarrassing for him because I just think we weren't what he expected. Yes. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And maybe he in the future will do a little more research and go, actually, this content's like a little too uh, interesting for me. Like, we just want this light stuff. But I would say that our instinct was right to say, like, you want Street Max around there because, yeah. sure, okay, it's going to be more spicy, but it's also more of like, obviously, this guy is just like a very, 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 very. Uh, sexually wound up guy who just wants to be validated and it's really funny mm -hmm. and it's maybe what more what they want so yeah. like this isn't about i got one nigga that i got that i got the fucking crosshairs on and it's andrew wilson mm -hmm. and yeah, so really i just think this is kind of a confusing experience it has elements that that are like normal on the internet that don't make any sense but we've you know, it's interesting because it's such a huge venue. If it was a small venue, I don't even know if I would bother going over it. But, like, such a huge venue. And, again, like, kind of goes, like, makes you go, like, how don't people understand the genre? Yeah. But to also, just, just really quickly, I, I'm going to have smoke. But when you yeah. watch this, I tried to set up the story a little bit more. Just yeah. a little bit more. And this fucker Blade goes, like, he like. Oh, then he like, goes boring. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Boring. So right, I, I was right. trying right, that's to give true, them man. a little. You know, it was really a tough. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a tough crowd. It, it it doesn't even make any sense. And maybe he'll like. Maybe he'll like learn from our criticisms. But like, I do wish him well. I, I appreciate the opportunity. I, you know, he's a big guy and we're tiny, so it was a great opportunity. We. It just is like there are some things about it that just don't make sense to me. And yeah. Uh, well, but like you know, how can we complain? All right, you know, these assumptions about me and my father's relationship, right? And I'm a sort of, I just want to say, I think I freaked out. I panicked a little bit. I Looking back on this, I did better than I thought I did. I, yeah, that's true. I freaked true. out a little bit. I did me better too. than I thought I did. Me too. I, yeah, that's right. And you can see, like, actually, there's really, it's really hard to navigate this because it's so unclear. And I guess maybe we could have done some research. But we had our own personal issues that we were struggling with all day. Oh, but even if we had done research. But it would have been like, how do you come at this? And who yeah. is the, like, I don't know that it matters that much. And clearly it's not like, it's not dependent that you understand the lore. To go on a show. They pretty much interview. are who they look like they are. Yeah. Um, wait, wait. And also I want to say this blade. But I just think the one thing you would maybe say if you researched is like, this isn't a very professional, even though the numbers are crazy. This isn't very professional, which yeah. is true of a lot of huge streams. Yeah. You're just like, <laughs> what's the thinking? Mm. Why does the whatever podcast have a young man dressed in a Croatian 
military uniform standing there the whole time. Right. Not that it's a big deal, but it does look a little homosexual. I don't know. Like, mm. you know, maybe it's just like kind of instinct on their part, but it is a little like. Or of course the destiny thing. Why are you playing a fucking video game while you're talking talking to another person about a serious issue? Right. Why? Right. If you're gonna do it, don't do it on screen. I mean, it's so confusing and having four chats running. But anyways, go ahead. I uh, just really quick before I play it. This guy Blade also, he's like boring, but he didn't back it up with anything. And I think he was saying, like, I get it, you're doing your shtick, but if he right. he didn't say that, so I had nothing to go on. It's just like you think it's boring? I you know what I mean? He didn't. Right, but, he didn't add anything. Right, but like, so there was nothing yeah, for where me to is like the thing like, with, like to come in with your own co story? Right. Come in with your own commentary. Don't just sit or, there going like, oh, "I'm bored." Right. How does this? How's the host benefiting from that? Right. And the truth is, once we were off, it was just like, uh, so, did you get so your Twitch channel. Anyone back? have any interesting stories? And they're like, "Yeah, my Twitch channel is a real controversy." Anyways, can we talk to someone else? Do you know anyone? You're like one of the biggest entertainers on YouTube. I like this guy. Boss <laughs> always says, well, WTF is wrong with her. I can fix this. WTV? Gorgeous... Well, no, I think he meant WTF. What, the vagina? Mm. I can fix this gorgeous, insane lady. I swear. <laughs> I'm my mama. Put on a shirt, you fucking weirdo. Can somebody <laughs> please send me the clip of that so I can yeah, put on my gotta soundboard? Get down. That's like the best. The, that that's was the a best. gift. Just for all the new viewers, me and my dad were like suntanning in the back of our RV <laughs> at a Walmart parking lot next to a road where cars were driving by near an intersection. But we were in the Walmart parking lot. There was a fence between us. And this guy drives by us. He sees my dad with his shirt off tanning on the back of the RV. In Florida. In Florida. Sorry, the yeah. Rhode Island Florida. plates. And he, he leans out of his car. He's like two lanes over, very distant from us. And he leans out of his car window and he goes, put a shirt on, you fucking weirdo, as he's <laughs> driving by. It was... <laughs> Apparently, the, their show is calling random people on Discord and hoping they answer. I already <laughs> sent it. Oh, okay. Th thank yeah, you Yeah, don't so you have a team? Don't you have any backup plan? I mean... All right, here we go. I don't know, a I'm performative person... So at a certain point, maybe when I was 16 or 17, things kind of, we were having this conversation and um, there was a beer bottle at hand and I sucked it in my father's lap. And I looked at my mom and said like, is this what you think is going on? You know, and I did a good job. The beer bottle was pleasured <laughs> sufficiently, but uh, I did that, you know, and I looked at my mom and I said like, is this what you think is going on? And even if it was, is this such a big deal? Like, can we just, can we just break the horse? And can you admit, like, you're making all these sexual assumptions, but you just won't say them? Like, okay, like, here you go. Like, ah, what do you think is going on here? And uh, your... that was a pretty good summary. I, I think she was trying to say, like, yeah, I think she was feeling the pressure of, like, making it snappy, but also, like, and she did kind of really articulate what the point was of that story. She left out some details, but, like, I think she got to the core. It's like, Okay, that can seem out of context to be crazy, but in context, it's a beer bottle. Um, and it really was kind of saying, like, so what's up? Because we had spent not days, not hours, not months, years kind of with this dynamic without it just getting said explicitly, this is what you suspect is going on. And we're supposed to have like you know what i mean we're sort of skating around this for thousands of hours and she's just like let's just let's cut to the chase this is the issue okay so what's up um was your mom super happy when she was like your age she was yes she once had sex with a man so that she could that's a good question nap in his air-conditioned apartment <laughs> that is in true. New Orleans. yes <laughs> it's called a New Orleans is hot, so oh no i it's one of her more likable qualities is that she has a <laughs> Is what about the um, but, the time that you dragged her out by her hair and threw her out of your studio? So they so, so would they they missed the opportunity to kind of like investigate that or ask some questions or whatever. They're just like, let's go on to the next thing. So it's just like this: you ask for a, like explanation of a juicy story, and then you don't investigate. It. You just like move on to the next one. So that's this way. It's a little tiring just to go like, okay, you're just like a, a kind of bag of antics, and like here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, and it's hard not to kind of seem like. That you are just a bag of antics. 
of this. Yeah, I was going to ask that next. Yeah. Like, I seen this clip of you just Wait, grabbing you didn't your let mom. Me, you didn't let me finish the beer bottle oh, story. Oh, okay. I'm go sorry. Ahead, go ahead. That was good. That was better. good. She did a good oh, job. Oh, yeah. I okay. was so interested. <laughs> okay. So, you asked a question on your show, and you're not interested in the answer. It's like... You know, like, I don't understand. Doesn't Keemstar want to take it? Who is now almost off screen, becoming smaller and smaller and sort of melting into the side of his frame at this point. Um, shouldn't he say, like, whether on screen or off screen, like, if you ask someone a question, you should be, the whole point is to, like, s get them to, like, right, okay, like, then what, once you want to, listen, this is like an entree into, like, sort of provoking a strong response. You don't go, like, I'm bored. That's, it's not helping the show. You're saying the content is boring. I'm so, on the edge of um, my seat. I would be too picky, okay. Blade. <laughs> Dude, don't don't let don't. But again, the the guy bottom left does have some social skills, and he's saying like, you know, like, what the fuck, right? In a kind of friendly way. Bottom right is a little bit moving, and Keemstar understands like, okay, we gotta pick this up. Grace, don't take <laughs> from anyone. If someone starts Nobody talking, hold back. Light them up. Are you not in right? And so I don't know. Maybe this is what Blade is there for—to say something like that to get some provocation. But it's it's just not very like. Why not just pick up on the beer bottle thing? There is a lot of questions you could ask there that would be interesting. But just saying like I'm bored. I don't want to hear the rest of the story that I or we asked you to explain. Like. I don't know. Like, you're not giving answers. I guess the critique, would, I guess the overall thing would be like something like, well, these all sound like, and this was their thing is like, these all sound like made up stories. And maybe you guys are just like made up these stories to get clout, but that doesn't really hold up very well because there are literally hundreds, if not thousands of hours of documentation. There are police reports. So it's like, yeah, okay, we're smart enough to understand, like, that doesn't hold up if you did a little research. Um, but even if you didn't, like, you would have, if you didn't do the research, you'd have to give the benefit of the doubt to that this being real because there's no indication otherwise, except that you yourself maybe just don't know what to do with it, which, why are you on the internet then? Enjoying the stories, Blade? So you sucked off a beer bottle and go. Well, and then I, what was interesting is that my mother got very upset and she said, you stop that right now. Even though it was a beer bottle. Like it wasn't, there was nothing sexual going on. It was a beer bottle. She got very angry at me. So I threw my book, my backpack at her cause I was very angry and I rushed out the house to one of my dad's apartments. That and again, the rudeness of like looking at his stupid fucking phone on his hand or whatever that device is on his hand. Look at the, look at the body language shying away from her. And, and and just acting like a bitch overall. It's just like, it's perplexing, it's weird. If you're gonna, and she's pushing back and saying, I'm gonna sell it, okay. And it's an interesting story, but it's like one of the defining, it's one of the defining moments of her life. It was free, like in another neighborhood, because he had houses at the time. And uh, I never lived with her again, basically. It's like a guy, right? And he takes a sip of his fucking stupid coffee also to say he's, I, I don't know why this guy gets invited on shows. Like, you ask someone a question. You ask a follow-up question. You insulted her. And, 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 like, you can't even listen. You can't even put your fucking stupid coffee down long enough and just have basic respect. Is that the point? Basically after that. So that's the end of the story, Blade. You happy? I, I'm <laughs> sorry. That just... That... So what was, the, what was the point of that story? Like, what, 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 are, what is going on I with that? I was asked. Survey. I was Quick asked. Quick survey. Everyone is like, it's just like total lack of social skills. What was the point of the story? What was the point of answering the question that was asked of you? And obviously the point of the question being asked is that sounds crazy. And so the explanation is right. you don't go, what's the point? Why wouldn't you say, what's the point of the question? What's the point of the interview? What's the point of the internet? What's the point of the show? And if you don't know the answer to those questions, you, may, you shouldn't be here. Like wings, boogie. Not, but, but where's boogie? By the way, he's, he's on a, on his way to Grace's house. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh okay. god. No, but um, what happened with when you grabbed your mom and threw her on the ground? Um, it, it was it was again. 
yet you know this is like a 10 second clip it's part of the thing you could watch it she didn't throw her on the ground she opened the door and pushed her out the door you this is a problem we find with people on the internet they're basically liars you didn't throw her she didn't throw her on the ground it's just made up you embellish it to make it seem like something it wasn't it's not a big deal but like why why not just take it at face value she pushed her took her by the hair and kind of pushed her out of the uh out of the room and out of the building you mean when i opened the back of the when I opened the back of the studio and I pulled her by her hand. Yes, her yes. Out. It was kind of a bit. Afterwards, I told her, like, I was just kidding. And she was like, yeah, I get it. She was she was doing this thing where she was, like, she was kind of spurging on the stream. And so I thought it would be funny if I kind of, like, kicked her out of the studio and just said, like, all right, that's enough of that. And so so a bunch of... Went... Okay, so now the guy in the bottom left, as Grace is doing a great job of explaining this and having dynamism, dynamism he puts his hand, face in his hands and now between the hat the hands and the shirt he's completely covered he's completely withdrawing into a cave of loserishness and fat why she's responding it's interesting if lol cows are interesting if you know kind of interesting stuff on the internet she's bringing it she's pretty She's vivacious, she's articulate, these are interesting stories, and this guy decides to go face into hands to hide. Why? I have a problem with that. A bunch of this stuff is bits, but aren't there real police reports in your family for assault with each other? Uh, well, there, there's no criminal record um, because all of the charges. She should, I don't know why she said there's no criminal record. She just said, yeah. And even the bits, uh, they weren't really bits like we had worked them out. There was just a kind of understanding that we knew we were on camera. But it was all authentic. There was never a bit which we cooked up and then played out. That only happened once when Grace pretended to have run away from me and was spending time at her friend's house when she was really just upstairs in the attic. That's the only kind of like cooked bit. The rest of it was authentic, but, it, you know, it was... It was behavior that maybe was uh, wouldn't have happened without the camera being on. I would say that's about the it. only current thing is a civil restraining order that my mother has against my father, and it's for her and my four minor siblings who semi live with her. I was just about to ask that. Um, I obviously just said it. You so you have you have a brother, sisters, mixture. What do you, what do you got? I'm the oldest. I have six. I, well, I'm sorry. I'm the oldest of six. I have five siblings. Uh, there's me. Then there's John, Charlie, Tommy, Maggie. I'm Charlie. not going to. Uh, okay. But it's all from the same mother, dad. Right there. Yeah. Like that's, that's that kind of ridiculous doxing thing. But she, she could have just said, I have four brothers and a sister. And the sister is second to youngest. I guess we're going to nitpick. That could have been said that way. Because they don't want to know their names. I don't see how that would. But whatever. Battered. Mm -hmm. Yep. Someone in the I'm chat asked. Right. <laughs> so then he has a question. No follow-up. Unclear how, whatever. I mean, I guess you're just clarifying. But, like, not picking up on the kind of interesting tidbits there. Just asking kind of generic questions, like, that someone who's autistic might have been coached on how to ask. Someone in the chat is saying that you have some type of relationship with Ethan Ralph. Is that true? Yes, I, uh, about, I don't know, five months ago. <clears throat> yeah, uh, hate to put a cap on the content, but you got to go on Ethan Ralph in 10 minutes. So I think it's <laughs> a good time to wrap up. All right. And uh, we'll see you guys over on Ethan Ralph. We Ralph's probably won't pick up on that anymore. Stream. I mean, I would love to see where I came in and just brought fire. How many of you, how many people did they have in there on their uh, watching the premiere? It wasn't like that, a thousand. A thousand. So it was really. good. Okay. It was pretty good. Well, so it is what it is. I mean, probably won't go over it anymore because I've got, I got some real, I got some real work. We've got I a need new DLC. I, I got some. Keemstar is not my, he's not on my crosshairs. We did well by him, and we do profoundly thank him for the opportunity. Yes. Um, and we're sorry that it didn't sort of like click maybe on both sides we should have i don't know i mean he's the guy he's the boss but maybe 
we could have cooked it a little more. Maybe we could do something in the future. I can guarantee I can give him the best lol cows like you wouldn't believe if he needs people. So yeah. hit us up. No, no shade. Like no shade, no harm, no foul. Just you know, just just to kind of miss. But um, and you know, probably he's probably in retrospect, he's like, I could have kept him on longer, but. Worried, maybe irrationally, because I've had problems in the past. No problem. Mm. All right, so I sent the link. And he's in a big chat. channel. I don't. We don't know what it's like to be a huge <clears throat> channel. Yeah. And maybe so. he was feeling like I was going somewhere where I had no intention of going. In retrospect, probably watching it. You know, that's one thing that you said. When you're when you're in the moment, you're feeling like more exaggeratedly, like the neurotic tendencies. The, Absolutely. Uh, you know. Like yourself, or, and maybe that's what happened to him. Like, ah, shit, I should. I don't really know what these people are about, but they seem really bold and really confident. And I just want to pull the plug on this because it closer. might seem like they're headed into territory, and that like it's going to get me in trouble with YouTube. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And but watching it again, he probably is like, oh, I can see it wasn't really going there. Yeah. So and of happens. course, appreciate the exposure. Um, we've we've had sometimes done that with people who like look like they're about to flash yeah right and we're yeah. like get out of here you know and it's like oh he wasn't doing that yeah. it doesn't even make any sense but, when you uh, watch it he said he said that his whole chat was saying kick grace kick grace kick. i mean i kind of think like listening to your chat that much it, when you don't have any other yeah but maybe there, maybe it's something that like is new to the channel where you get someone who's like kind of substantive and kind of charming and their instinct is preserve like they've they're kind of in love with these guys maybe in some way or they're like feeling self protective like these guys, mm -hmm. you know, don't deserve to get beaten up like she's a bad bitch and she's gonna tear like I maybe. I think true. mostly when they're saying kicker kicker kicker, it's saying like, we find her interesting. I don't know what you don't what you what you should respond to is your chat just like dips significantly. Yeah, they say that to most guests. I would assume yeah, it's, like, uh, it's like mostly just like. It's just like the kind of, um, what's that old game show? The something show, the gong show where like the guests get, get up and they start doing like a, a dance routine or whatever, just like American Idol. Mm -hmm. And then there's this thing where the crowd can turn on the guest mm -hmm. and then the, the you know, celebrity judges, like one of them takes the, the, the striker for the gong and the other ones hold them back, and it becomes this thing like, "Am I gonna gong oh, this person? Like, you're out of here." I see. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's a funny dynamic. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not I, sure your instinct should be like. And if he if he had blipped you off and then blipped you back on, I just don't think he knew what to do with either of us. Gong show reference for everyone in chat, born in the 1960s. <laughs> boomer reference. Boomer reference. Yeah. I wasn't born in the 60s, but it's an old show, but. <laughs> It's funny. It's like the guy who hosted it seemed to be constantly drunk, which is kind of funny. Um, it wasn't very professional in a way. It was kind of a shit show. It's Actually, funny though, family, if you ever see it on YouTube, it's Family funny. Feud, the, the guy was drunk all the time. Fi so, family Feud though, but it was like a little more, but it was like, uh, he just seemed like a kind of lecherous guy. He was like this schmoozer. Like, <laughs> hey, sweetie. Hey, what you baby. <laughs> all right, so. It's like a lot of times the dad's like looking over there like, what did you just do with my wife? <laughs> but it was the 70s. Yeah. All right, so I posted the link in the chat. Uh, everybody go on over to the Kill Stream to watch my dad Kill Stream on, on Rumble. It is on Rumble. Post Get ready to rumble. Bye-bye, guys. See you next time with some fire content. About yeah, and we're going to try to post. Willis. Subscribe and get notifications. We're trying to post it more than like five minutes before we're going live. Yeah. But... There is going to be a lot of content because I I, I got my sights on a digger. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.